Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. One of the many unsigned bills sitting on Governor Pence's desk tries to protect homeowners going through the tax sale process from being victims of fraud. It comes as a follow-up to a lawsuit from Attorney General Greg Zeller. The legislature and Attorney General were able to pass a bill that would ensure the original owner of a home going through a tax sale receives any surplus funds from that sale. Zeller says it prohibits the companies from getting that money. The Sears store at Bloomington's College Mall will close in mid-June, clearing the way for an expansion that includes a Whole Foods grocery store. Store closure is part of a series of actions to reduce ongoing expenses. It will impact 52 employees. Those who are eligible will receive severance packages or be offered positions at other Sears or Kmart stores. The store's liquidation sale will start March 25th. There will never be another number 18 to suit up for the Indianapolis Colts. Before 1998, the Colts had experienced little success since the team's relocation from Baltimore 14 years earlier. That changed after the Colts drafted Peyton Manning with the first pick in the 98 draft. The quarterback led the team to 141 wins, two Super Bowl appearances, and one Super Bowl win. At a news conference today, President Jim Ursay announced in addition to retiring Manning's jersey, Colts will also put a statue in front of Lucas Oil Stadium. Now for a quick check of tonight's forecast, a 30% chance of rain showers, lows in the mid-30s. Taking a look at the five-day forecast, a 60% chance of rain to start off the weekend, high of 46, a low of 30 degrees. 40% chance of mixtures of snow and rain on Sunday, a high of 43, lows in the mid-20s. Partly cloudy on Monday, highs in the mid-40s. More news online and stick around. Indiana News Desk starts right now.